Oh, here you are. Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> so I heard about this camper over here. What the hell is going on? Yeah, so we had a customer who brought this camper in. Uh, it's a short bed F-150 camper. Um, and he said that he'd been in a car accident and he needed some work done to it. So showed up uh, and when looking at it and actually hearing the story, it's pretty crazy. Um, he got rear-ended at full speed by another vehicle um, and the bed had like crumpled forward towards the cab. And when that happened, the camper got thrown off of the bed of the truck um, and the camper landed on the roof and slid down the road. Um, so I was expecting a lot more damage to the camper, but uh, the roof is in pretty good shape. There's a couple of nicks in the roof. The extrusion took a little bit of a beating as you would expect when it's sliding over asphalt and the frame is a little bit bowed, but the camper's 100% functional. Um, we're actually doing um, just like a quick touch up for him just to make sure everything's functioning properly. And other than that, the camper's in great shape. Yeah, so when the camper uh, flew off the truck and then on the roof, it landed initially on this corner. Um, so that billet corner is uh, a little bit worse for wear, but totally functional. And it slid down the road. Um, you can see that there's a good amount of abrasion on this uh, roof extrusion here. Um, the roof has some scratches, a couple of nicks. Um, we're gonna replace that for him. But other than that, the camper's in really good shape, uh, or the roof is in really good shape. The frame around the other side has a bit of a bow in it. So you can see this board is actually flat, but it's a bit of a bow. I can get my fingers through there. This isn't a huge deal, luckily. It still mounts to the truck bed. Everything sucks together and fits really nicely still. So it's 100% functional, it's just a bit of a cosmetic defect. Yeah, other than that, the camper's in great shape. Um, For getting hit while on a truck at 75 miles an hour, rear-ended on the interstate, and, and flung. flying off the truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so roof first, look at that plastic, like, look at that roof. Yeah, I know, so I mean, there's definitely like a little bit of damage to it. There's some nicks, some scuffs, but it's really, I mean, it's 100% functional still. There's really nothing uh, nothing, none of the damage affected the actual usability of the camper. It was all just cosmetic damage. So, he, luckily the guy's okay. Camper is worse for the wear, but all right, still functional. And yeah, we're glad to be getting him back on the road. <laughs> all right, so we are going ahead and replacing his hinges because all of his panels got blown off in the crash. Um, so new hinges. Um, we're also gonna put a new window, rear window in his rear panel. Um, since that cracked and broke um, when it came off the truck. Um, for the camper itself, uh, we're going to replace the roof. Uh, we could replace all this extrusion, but he uh, he's keeping the battle scars on the camper. Um, and then, unfortunately, we can't re-bend that frame just because we would need a big hydraulic press to do that. But again, like it's totally functional. It's just a cosmetic defect. It's not an actual... Um, issue with the functionality. Okay, so one of the bummer parts about the damage to his camper is that this uh, lower tube on his frame was bent and we don't have the ability to re-bend this because we don't have any sort of like hydraulic press to press it out. Um, it, if you had a V2, it'd actually be really easy because we could just unbolt this whole lower beam and bolt a new beam back in there. Because the whole frame bolts together in individual pieces rather than being welded at the corners. So you want this to be kind of some black tape on the elbow. No turtle shell scrapes. No, well, I mean, but you get, you get all these cool. It's like very Mad Max now. It's knowing it was, yeah, where did it bend? I go for that frame, though. Yeah. You need a...
like that. You've closed up camp. Just that easy. <laughs> This, this part's kind of fun, actually. It's just that oddly satisfying stuff. Stickers. Stickers. So wait, Eli. Yeah. So after everything you did to this, it's gonna go back on the truck today? It's gonna go back on the truck today, yeah. Well, not the truck. But not the truck, but a truck, a similar truck. So you're telling me tonight, these people probably go out camping? Yes, exactly. That one closes. Oh. Oh. Not bad. Yeah. No, not quite. No. It's just barely hitting in two spots. Here. This one oh. closed. It's still, it's standing it still off sucks. there. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a duck bill. Such a weird sound. Oh. <laughs> you know, for being in an action, we're getting there. Oh, I see exactly what's in. This area here. Oh, the worst cold. of it, right there. Yeah, no more grinding sounds. Got it! There we go. Woo! It's a little tough to close, but it's not rubbing on the frame anymore. <laughs> Consider all things considered. Yeah. Yeah. Good panel. Well, it looks pretty good to me for being in a wreck. <laughs> Better than anything I've got that's ever been in a ride. Well, as it was, but it does the job. <laughs> it definitely does the job. And yeah, I hope, like, if you guys have any other questions, just reach out and we'll, we'll take care of you guys. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, for s